Hi folks, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick and we're on the Commodore 64 this time with a, sort of like a port, a conversion from an arcade game. It's Gyrus, it's a shooter published by Parker Brothers in 1984, based on the arcade cabinet from Konami in 1983. Now essentially you're in a ship and uh, through different stages you must progress through the solar system, shooting aliens all the way back down to Earth, which is level 24. If you do that, I think it might just start again. But anyway, we'll see how we get on. So essentially you just have got to shoot aliens it's you turn around in a bit of a, a clockwork um style uh, you'll soon find out there we go so we go around in this sort of like circle uh, avoid getting shot yourself and shoot all the things now i like the music on this one straight away oh, we can go upside down although that does get a little bit confusing maybe i should try and avoid that ready my lives are in the bottom left now if you play this on the commodore 64 or indeed the arcade game then comment below with all your memories I'm liking it so far. Uh, the Commodore 64 does tend to have some good music with some of its uh, games, which I quite like. Now, these game, these reviews are from the standpoint of our first or second go, so it's not expert gameplay or walkthroughs. It seems to confuse some people sometimes. It's about seeing how you can get on on your first or second go, and would there have been enough there for you to want to go and play it again? Or if you bought it with your pocket money, would you have taken it back to the shops? Um, I like it. It's nice and original. Uh, we reviewed... Um, uh, a, a homebrew quite recent on the ZX Spectrum, which I think may have been influenced by this, but this is Parker Brothers, 1984. Listen to that music, baby. Ahead, walk back to six. Thank you to the subscribers. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so as we journey through all the retro back catalogue. Look, I've completed stage one there while I was talking. And uh, on our journey to beat stress, if you're having a bad time and you think the whole world's against you, well, it's not because you found this channel. And we're zipping along, uh, trying to get through each day as it comes. But this is a departure from reality. Let's shoot aliens and blame them for absolutely everything. Uh, the ship here has got three colours. It's that blue purpley jet at the back and then a white and red affair. All the aliens seem to be a bit movey or brownie. Right, nice star field coming at us. It gives us a sense that we're speeding along. So as soon as we destroyed all the aliens going round here, there might be some power-ups as well. I think that's a power-up. Is that a power-up? Yes, we've got a power-up. So we've got a double shot now. Uh, and then we'll warp. Hopefully I'll get as far into that bit. You'll warp to a different uh, planet. Hooray! So I think we started off on uh, Neptune, didn't we? And we, then we were somewhere else. Well, there we go, ne there's Neptune. Uh, and then we go to, gradually to Earth. So there's a lot, quite a lot to do. It's quite a lot of content in this game. It's moving well, it's quite easy to control. You can control it on the joystick or the keys. Try and keep your power-ups. Now this is, I think it's a bonus stage. You can't die here, but you get bonus points if you shoot absolutely everything. Keep an eye on my score in the top left. That's that thing in yellow with the numbers on it. You knew that, didn't you? I will have a few goes on this because I've only got one life left there, looking at that bottom left, and lets that count as an extra life. 2,000. Let's, let's defeat these, these twits. Goodbye, twits, he says. Look at that. Congratulations. Perfect on my first go. 10,000 points. Will I ever do that again? We'll probably uh, not. Now, if you're liking your Commodore 64 stuff, you haven't really quite as many Commodore 64 games as a lot of the other systems, but I've done a few. If you want to see what we've done so far, I mean, let's size it all now. Uh, click on my username, uh, then uh, free warps for Uranus. Well, we won't, uh, us, there's no jokes I can think about there. Yes, yeah, so if you want to see the other Commodore 64 games, click on my username. That takes you to the channel page. Click on the um, playlist tab, and you'll see Commodore 64 along with a lot of other stuff. And you'll also see uh, across the top a load of icons, which are like the Facebook page, um, uh, coffee, ko fi, if you want to send me a, a coffee, if you want, it's like a tip jar, and various other bits up there. So that was a quick go. Uh, 1984, I thought it was. There's 1986 there. Well, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, Parker Brothers 84. Maybe, maybe this is one that got re-released in 86. Put, put what you think below. Two warps in Neptune. That's better than three warps in Uranus. Uranus. Let's call it like that. So avoid the yellow stuff and shoot everything else. Quite an addictive game, and already I know I would have come back to this quite a few times. It's a nifty little mover. Good shooter, and I, I like the way it does go in a circle, although I'm, I'm trying to stick down the, the bottom uh, half of it, because it, uh, up, up there it gets confusing, uh, left becomes right and right becomes left as you go upside down, but some smart Alec might say, that might be you, some smart Alec might say there's no upside down in space, okay. That always reminds me in Star Wars when they went to hyperspace and got in interrupted by Star Destroyers, everyone was always the same way up, I mean the chances of that are probably remote. Bom 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 bom. What is this tune? It's like Beethoven or something. If I was travelling through space, this is exactly what I want to hear, and I've done it again. 
some of the best music uh, for space is like Frontier Elite 2 uh, on the Commodore Amiga. Play some uh, classical uh, music there. Well, chip plays classical music. Right, bonus stage. If you've ever walked to Uranus, then comment below. Uh, I suppose what comes next then? I suppose Jupiter might be in there. Uh, then, uh, I don't know. They probably do them out of order. Probably Mars, then Earth. Uh, so, so probably Venus and Mercury don't get a look, look in, do they? Maybe mm, I bet they change it so they do get a look in because there's 24 stages. We're on stage two of 24, so uh, we've got uh, not well quite a bit longer to go. If you completed the game, let me know. As I understand it, it does loop back back to the beginning again, but that's fine. Quite a lot of games uh, did that. Uh, my biggest disappointment for games looping back to the beginning again was Commando on the ZX Spectrum. As we zip off to Neptune. It's a cold ball of ice. If you're a cold ball of ice, then comment below. I certainly need that on my back at the moment, because earlier on today, I, t I twinged it. And it's one of those things when you get to a certain age, you hope the back will repair by the next day, or you might get a whole heap of pain for weeks. Anyway, last time that happened, I needed a walking stick for a bit, and it repaired itself. But uh, I've got a weak back. Why am I talking about my back? Well, you know, I talk about stuff. Um, I've got a very weak back. I shouldn't really lift anything heavier than a pint of beer. Even then, maybe I should need a forklift truck or an assistant to pour it in my mouth. Apply below, uh, good looking women. Right, okay, uh, bonus, I didn't get the 10,000 points that time, so uh, to keep tradition alive, I'm gradually getting worse as we zip forward, as we walk away to the next stage. Good effect there. Free walks to Uranus, yes. Well, that'd be a good, good boy band, wouldn't it? Uh, good song. Um, right. Right, so let's concentrate now. I've got three lives left. You can see on the bottom uh, left. The music's still playing away. It always stays the same. Try and shoot all these people. Right, try... It's the yellow stuff flying at you, and sometimes the aliens might collide into you, so you need to avoid that as well. This is being played due to a recommendation, so if that was you, it might be more than one of you, actually. If that was you, then thank you very much. Parker Brothers 84, uh, RK Konami 1983. I think that might be a power up that thing there. Give me double shots, good. With double shots, you've always got a chance. Now, you might see an occasional bit of space debris coming in our direction. We need to avoid that as well. You don't want to slam in space, heavy into space debris. Two warps to Uranus. That joke never gets old, does it? No. This 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 channel's on a PG level, so we, we say Uranus, because uh, that, that is the blame of the planet. Right, bit. Oh, my word. Get ready. Right, so I, I was trying to get a bit further there. I might get to the same stage again. Losing lives quite quickly now. Uh, if we zip through, we're well, not really zip through, do we? The uh, the distant outlier planets of the solar system. Right, this is definitely my last life. Come on, ship. Go, go, go. Come on back. Hold out. Maybe I need a back support, but they're all extra large on Amazon. I'm a teedy -leedy, -leedy biddly guy, and it's game over again. Gyrus. Never played the arcade game? If you have, let me know, but I'm pretty sure it uh, chucks out some amazing music uh, there and sounds too uh, from 1983. It's, it's right in the zone of my favourite retro gaming era. So I will uh, I will have one more go with this. I would like to see Gyrus written in red, but that's just, that's just me. It's in grey, a little bit boring there, but anyway. So the gameplay is always going to be essentially the same. Starts off with easy-ish aliens. Uh, the further you get in the levels, the more stuff they fire at you in their in their rain. I presume they're trying to take over the solar system, these silly little aliens. I haven't bothered with Pluto, they've zipped past that. Um, maybe they couldn't be bothered. So, you know, people in Pluto, well done, you, you're still okay. Go swimming or on the beach and stuff, you haven't got a contain with aliens. Not like me, in the single ship, this white triangular thing in red and white. Don't know what the ship's called, it might say in the instructions, but I haven't got the instructions. All I know is we're being attacked by aliens, and we need to head the way down to Earth. And uh, I hope the Borg don't turn up. Head the way back to Earth and free everyone. I like that effect as well. This game is really cool, to be honest with you. I'm really enjoying this. Commodore 64, gotta love it. I didn't, I didn't own the Commodore 64 back in the day, but I wasn't one. Of, I owned a Spectrum. But I wasn't one of these people that, because I owned a Spectrum, I thought the Commodore 64 was rubbish. I never understood that really. I, there was two good 8-bit uh, systems that played great games. I mean, some games were different on, on others. Some conversions were better than others. It was all down to the coding, really, uh, rather than the actual um, uh, computer itself. Spectrum's got his own slight unique palette. Commodore 64 has got a more um, 
well, washed out palette, but more colours to play with. So you can get a bit of definition. It seems to handle music better because it adds the 64K. Um, uh, but, you know, I like them both. I like them both. I mean, preferences for Zelda Spectrum because I've got the nostalgia, of course. But you couldn't have had uh, the Commodore Amiga without the Commodore 64. One wouldn't have thought. So, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Didn't know, funny enough, I didn't know anyone that owned a BBC Micro or an Amtrad CPC. Although they were, they were, they were the, them out there. Just I never ran into them. Right, off to Neptune. God of the Sea was that Poseidon. Anyway, one's Roman mythology, one's Greek mythology. There might be other mythologies as well. Egyptian mythology. Who's the God of the Sea in Egyptian mythology? Um, Kenneth. Right, this is the bonus stage. Shoot everywhere. Take that, aliens. Take that and die. Aliens are always attacking us. If you have to estimate how many games uh, there have ever been produced where we're being attacked by aliens, um, then there's going to be quite a few. Aliens never attack each other, they always attack us for some reason. I was, yeah, very, very, very strange. I suppose the Transformers were attacking each other originally, weren't they? The Decepticons and the, um, the other ones. Good. Right, now, this is sort of like where I was getting last time. I think I got within two warps, didn't I, really? Everything's getting a bit warped. Uh, the first time I heard the word warp was in Star Trek, where they go warp back to five, where they, um, they warp space to achieve the speed. Second time I heard warp, it was because um, some tape had melted. Oh, actually, it was some cine film. I was at school doing a cine animation for a project on, uh, in, a, in a subject called media technology. So I suppose that's the only subject relevant to what I want to do. I got a B. Didn't get an A, got a B. I did some animation with plasticine. If I had a lot more time, I'd, um, I'd try that again, because it must be a lot quicker to do now with actual digital photography. Back in the day, I had like a cine camera to send it away to be developed. Yes. Bom, 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 bom. Off we go! The ship is away! Is that further than we got last time? What's that take us to? That takes us to stage five. Two warps to Uranus. Two lives left. Now, can I leave the promised land and actually get there? Concentrate. Dun 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 Feel the feel the excitement folks if you're still here. If you are still here and you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing because it means that you like this kind of guff, unless you jump forward of course. Big thank you to the members as well for keeping this channel running. If you want to be a member, click on the join button. It's not compulsory by any means, but just help me go and possibly to try and live out that dream one day of coming full time where I can I could really do stuff then. Anyway Get ready! Uh, what we got? This is the last life, oh dear. I think I'm gonna sort of like die at the same place I died at last time. And let's have a really good last go. Don't zip into any yellow yellow stuff. Right, come on, use the false look. How many have got left? We've got three. What the hell's that thing? That was a bomb, I think. Three of them. Two of them. Oh, one of them. That's it, isn't it? That's it. That's as far as I've got so far. We're off somewhere else on the last life. Please give me another life. So stage six is the furthest I've got so far, I think. Unless I got to there last time, I don't know. Right, one warp to Uranus. See, I'm calling it by a different name now. Right. Uh, I only got one life left. I've got to do it all in one go. Let's push the first mob. Come on, Nicky. Achieve the impossible. Can I achieve the impossible? Probably not. Oh, not many left now. Get through that uh, rock coming at us. Oh, how many, how many left? Oh, no. Two? Yeah, oh, I only had four left. I think if I kept playing this, I would get a decent length into that, and it's game over again. Well, I really like that game. That's really nice. Good animation, addictive gameplay, good music as well. Can't say anything bad about the thing, really. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Gyrus on the Commodore 64, published by Parker Brothers in 1984, and based on the arcade cabinet from Konami in 1983. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're more than welcome, and it's great creating a bit of activity on the channel, to be fair. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.